Hello, welcome to another vlog. It is a sunny Sunday and I have no work that I'm doing today and no respite. So it's a Thomas and Mama day today. The unicorn is working and Thomas and I are going to spend the day together. So I thought I would vlog and show you a chill day, give you some updates. I, since I last saw you, have some new tattoos, so I'll show you those. And I don't know, just some life updates, whatever comes to mind. Uh, would you like to see the outfit? It is a typical Sunday slash quarantini 2020, 2021, 2020, 2021 outfit. I mean, if this isn't fashion, I don't know what is. <laughs> Wearing the same Joe Fresh tights that I showed in my favorites, but I definitely got another black pair and a gray pair. Love them. And this is a really old sweatshirt from, what is this called? Brunette the Label, the redhead one. And that's it. <laughs> also, I've got those socks that I was telling you about in the last vlog. My favorite Joe Fresh socks. A chill Sunday outfit. Right now I'm gonna go pour myself a second cup of coffee. Spend the last few minutes with the boyfriend before he leaves for work. And then bring you along on the day. Coffee. Also just finished this mammoth 1.47 liter or 50 fluid ounces bottle of soap. Says so it's good for 800 plus dispenses. I definitely bought this last year. If you've been noticing in empties, I no longer buy the Bath & Body Works pump soap. As much as I love it, not great ingredients and also not great for the planet. So this, I have probably refilled the pump soap more times than I know. It just feels better. And it was cheap. Say hello. Oh, your sharp haircut? No? You say no. No. Okay. We're gonna pick up our groceries, hey bud? And obviously, listening to the new Taylor Swift. I mean, the old, new, new Taylor Swift. The Fearless album. since I've shown you my groceries. Let's do that. We went to IGA, as you saw. I have been ordering my groceries from IGA for well over a year. I've been shopping there for six years, probably. And um, when everything shut down last year, 
I started exclusively ordering my groceries from them and haven't stopped and hope that it will never stop. <laughs> Eggos for Thomas. This is something new that I've never tried, but it was on sale. Honest Dumplings contains many secrets, no lies, Kung Pao tofu. It's got tofu, peanut butter, spicy sauce, soy sauce. I'm very intrigued. Does it say how you cook? They're dumplings. Pan fry or steam. Do we air fry? Anyway, I was excited about that. Frozen peas. Did you know peas have a lot of protein? Fun facts with Mare. Hi, Thomas. Mommy's just gonna put the groceries away, okay? Some Zevia, ginger ale, no iPad. Yeah, you can go play, thank you. Um, the ginger root beer is my personal favorite. They were on sale, so that's why I got a couple. Are we, are we leaning here? What's happening? Here we go. Um, what else to show you? Oh, I thought this was the big spinach. Spinach. Dang it. Um, three pack of romaine hearts for like, I think I'm gonna do lettuce wrapped tacos one day this week. Uh, mushrooms. Some lemons. Some avocados. That's the only thing about ordering is you never know what the like ripeness will be. I'd rather them be needing to be ripe than like almost, you know, past their expiration. Avocados, a tricky business. Scallion, broccoli. Honestly, this is something we can talk about, but a tomato. I, this is so bright, I'm so sorry. I'm not, we're not complaining about the sun. We're not complaining about the sun. It's bright. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, I have been, I'll tell you in a second. Let's just get through these groceries. Pineapples were on sale? Where's this from? Sustainably grown Florida. Oh, look at the size of her. This was on sale. A large pack of peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. What? Radio background. Theater background. Cucumber. Some dry roasted peanuts, which the three of us are on a real kick right now. Some vegan butter. Face out. And this is what we call unicorn fuel. Sugar free French vanilla international delight coffee creamer. That's it. That's the grocery haul. Good job, bud. Um, you're probably looking for a little snack. Would you like something to eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one sec. Corn nuts? Mm -hmm. Yes? <gasps> Say no. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Thomas's water bottle was the first prototype when I was making marathon or water bottles years ago. See, it says life's not a sprint. Then it says marathoner. We didn't go with this design, but he uses it. It's like a little piece of marathoner history, if you will. Enjoying a salad for lunch. Yes, I like my salad in a large bowl. I just wanted to mention, I'm not sure if you can see, but I've started getting these like little coleslaw kits. That's where like the cabbage is from and it just makes making a salad so quick. So then I just added to that some spinach, some pepper, some mushrooms, some tofu, a couple of peanuts, some dressing. Thomas is having a little Annie's mac and cheese and an orange and his iPad for the first time. We've changed it so now he only gets his iPad at lunchtime. And this change has meant that now he sleeps in. Like yesterday he didn't get up till 9.15. And I'll show you the timer that we've started using too. So like implementing times when he can have his iPad and when he can't and when he gets it back. Like later I'll put him on his bike in the basement and I'll work out and then I'll show you. But um, it's been such a game changer doesn't get his iPad till lunch. And today he didn't get it till almost one because we just went on a walk with a friend of mine. And we walked for like 
an hour and 15 minutes. So he's just rocking it. I'm gonna eat this salad, watch a little YouTube, and enjoy. He's so happy. Also, um, we took away Elmo. He doesn't get, he hasn't watched Elmo in like at least a month. And that's been a huge game changer for his um, mood. And he's happier now that he doesn't get his iPad as much. He's not like jonesing for it. And it's been a real, real change in our house. Like now he'll sleep till seven, eight. I have to wake him up for school. If you've been a long time marathoner, did you ever think this would happen? Yes, we still have some rough nights, but they're so few and far between. So I just thought I'd mention that, but I'm hungry. Which I'm gonna eat. Mm. All right, lunch is over. I need to do a little tidy. And um, I just wanted to mention something that I was gonna talk about when we were doing the groceries, but then we had to book it so that I wasn't gonna be late to see my girlfriend. I just wanted to say that if you're at a place in your life where you're not meal planning and you're not like trying new meals and you're eating the same thing every week, I am there with you and that is okay. Um, before I became a widow, I used to plan every meal. I would try one new meal a week and I was very like good at that. And then after Jared died, I just stopped and I felt such a shame from that. And my therapist told me like, as long as you're eating and you're feeding your son, like who cares? So that's what I'm telling you. As long as you're eating and your house is eating, who cares? Like give yourself some grace, be kind to yourself. We are over a year into a pandemic. This shit is hard. It's hard. <laughs> and I don't know where you're watching this video, but in my home province, it is the worst it's been somehow with the most cases every day than we've ever seen somehow. So give yourself a break. My girlfriend posted this thing that was like, if you're tired and you can't focus and you're struggling and you can't figure out why, we're still in a panini. Like give yourself a break. Um, is this bugging anybody else? Should I just close this? Sorry. Um, I just wanted to say that. So what I do is I order my groceries from IGA and one thing I love is that you can go into past purchases. I pretty much do the same thing every week. My friend and I joke, she's the one who nine times out of 10 does the groceries because she works on a Sunday. She's like, if you forgot to order, I could pretty much bang on, get your order because it's so specific and that's okay. Um, I'm hoping to try new recipes and try some new stuff once I'm done school this summer. But if not, that's okay too. <laughs> like the other day the unicorn brought up the barbecue and we had veggie dogs and he got like frozen french fries and we put those in the air fryer. Who cares? <laughs> it's a panini, like seriously. So this is me just like, allow yourself some grace. We pretty much eat the same thing. I went to the dollar store and got this little whiteboard right here for like two bucks. It's a magnetic one. And I just wrote down like a few ideas of things and we pretty much make them every single week. They're delicious, they're nutritious. Like I, my goal is basically health, not variety at this time in my life. I don't know what your situation is and maybe you like to try new things and that's amazing and maybe that's how you like de-stress and deal with your anxiety. Like I know a lot of people find cooking and new recipes um, a stress reliever, but if that isn't gonna fill your cup, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> this is just me saying like, it's okay if you make the same thing every week. You know, just make sure you're getting like some vegetables and some fruit. Other than that, it's all good. Yeah, that's just my thing. Um, like all those groceries I bought today, pretty much every single thing I buy every week, and I have the same thing 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let me know if you wanna see a what I eat in a day because it's very routine at the moment. Um, <laughs> and I'm happy to show you that. Like breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. It's all the same. And that's okay. <laughs> okay, that's my, that's my pep talk. I'm gonna tidy the kitchen. Let me know if you're trying new recipes and that brings you joy or if you're eating the same thing and that brings you joy. <sighs> we all have struggles and let's just know our limits and our boundaries. Good, great. Um, okay. It's not a super messy kitchen at the moment, but I'm gonna just set you somewhere and you can watch as we do a little time lapse because time lapse cleaning, why is it so satisfying to watch? I don't know. Something I am so excited about once school's over is spring cleaning my house, purging my house. Oh my gosh, the videos, the videos, friends. Oh, I'm gonna redo the basement um, before my next bike arrives because I ordered another stationary bike. I wanna redo the basement. The unicorn is working on making the bifolds into French doors. The videos, prepare yourself. I also got a request last year that I never fulfilled, which was changes that we made to the house last year. So maybe I'll try and like catch you up before we move in to the new ones. But like I am itching to go through Thomas's clothes, his books, his toys, the storage room. Oh, I would like to take a week to do this. Like, Oh, so excited. Whew. Anyone else get their like joy from purging and tidying and cleaning? When I talked about it in Finding Your Cape, <laughs> someone said to me, you should do that as a job, like go into other people's homes and do that. But anyway, I'm forcing myself to wait until school is done because we have other priorities right now. But this, I'm going into my last week of classes and then I have exams and then it's on. Especially because it should be two months before Thomas has done school. <sighs> joy, radiating joy. Does this bring you joy? Yes. But anyway, <sighs> tangent. The other day I noticed that um, my dishwasher was not washing dishes very well and so I ran a vinegar rinse through it and it cleaned it so great so now I'm gonna do that to my coffee maker because when was the last time you washed out your coffee maker I'm not answering you don't need to just answer to yourself <laughs> it's been a long time so I'm gonna do that now the internet tells me it's equal parts vinegar and water, and you run a cycle and then you stop it halfway through. So that's what we're gonna do. This is the content you wanted, right? Mayor Clean's coffee maker. I don't actually need to show you how gross it is, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. Vinegar. This bad boy. This is my coffee maker, in case you've ever wondered. It's Betty Crocker. I really like it. It was a gift from my Auntie Anna years ago. Then it matches these bad boys and this, which I love. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how gross the coffee maker is. Just know that that's what I'm about to do. Here's the book I'm reading right now, The Alice Network mm -hmm. by Kate Quinn. Yeah. What? You looking at pictures? Oh yeah, Auntie Tara again. You just looking at pictures of her aunt and her nana. That's nice. But I'm about halfway through and I am enjoying it. So I'm gonna sit here and read for a little bit before I go work out, before Thomas goes on his bike. And since I'm in my workout kit now, I can show you my new tattoo. Well, two of them. Here's one. This anatomically correct heart with five flowers. 
And then this one's a bit hard to show. Let me see if I can show you. Oh no, this way. Here we go, I got this girl power. Which I flipping love. A girlfriend actually got it too. So it's fun to go together and get them. And then this heart one I've wanted for a really long time. I always knew that that would finish that portion of my arm. I knew that it would slide into that section. And Kirk, who's done the majority of my work, did it. He drew it, I think just freehand. And then we landed on that. And what's funny is he did five flowers, which I didn't realize there were five. And there's five members of my family. So that was really cool. The heart symbolizes for me taking care of my health. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. So happy. And obviously, of course, now I want more. And I wanted more as soon as I left. <laughs> These are my first tattoos of 2021. So I was itching. The last one I got was the one that my sister and my niece and I got together, which was last July. Okay. Put you down, read for a bit, chill with T-bone, and then go work out to the nice smells of vinegar while my coffee maker soaks. <laughs> This is the timer app. It's just called Countdown. It's totally free. So I've got this set now. Thomas will watch a non-preferred show doing a preferred activity. Hold on, please. Thomas, good job. So he's gonna ride his bike, and I'm gonna ride mine. And then once this is done, then he can have his iPad back. I know it's still technically screen time, but this is a non-preferred activity so that he can get some exercise and I will get some exercise. dinner it's kind of hard to mm. see but it is a cauliflower rice stir fry with mixed beans and then I made a peanut sauce in the sauce I put um, fresh ginger fresh garlic powdered peanut butter sriracha lime juice water and I made a ton extra for leftovers but mm 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 Definitely hungry after that. Excellent spin class. Kitchen is clean. Thomas's lunch is made, which is a top tip of mine to make your kids school lunches the night before, like while you're already cooking, while the kitchen's already messy. It just it seems like it goes so much better. And I got two more portions of that stir fry. So the unicorn can take one for lunch slash dinner tomorrow cause he'll be there over both meals at work. And then I can have it tomorrow as well. Um, I showered and washed my hair after my workout. This is just like air dried. Uh, because it's still like chilly in the morning. So if I wash my hair in the morning, I need to blow dry it. And I'm really trying to not use a ton of heat on it. But tomorrow morning I have a dentist appointment and I have this thing where I like to go to the dentist with nice clean hair. I think it's like a respectful thing to do when someone's this close to your face. <laughs> I'm getting a sexy mouth night guard. Um, picking that up tomorrow because I've been having a ton of jaw pain and like headaches and stuff when I wake up so I'm hoping that that will help ease that pain um 
yeah, so I think that's all for today. I have one week left of school and then two weeks of finals and then we're done this semester. Still waiting to hear where I'll be in the fall, so I'll keep you posted. Uh, I think it's supposed to be this month or next month that they tell me. So just leaving that up to the universe because there's nothing I can do about it. And yeah, then I'm gonna have more time to, like I said, vlog a bunch of like house stuff, which I'm pumped on and check in with you. I appreciate the patience that you've shown me as I've been back in school this year and just like you dealing with all the COVID feelings and just you know how hard it's been for all of us, but we've stuck together and I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm going to take Thomas's iPad away for the night and then we do that about you know a few hours before bedtime and then he'll get like usually we go for a walk car ride sometimes then he'll have a bath we'll do some reading he'll play and just like really wind down without screen time I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm just gonna hang out with Thomas till he goes to bed and then I'm gonna paint my nails and then I'm going to read my book and go to bed. The unicorn won't be back until I, I'm well asleep. Oh, he works long shifts. But thanks for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Are you like me and you just cook pretty much the same things or do you find that cooking different things that relaxes you? Um, let me know if you're reading any good books lately any good shows. We are deep into Big Bang Theory. We finished Frasier and we're like four seasons already into Big Bang. Really enjoying it. I've never watched it like front to back so that's fun and it's so fun to see a main character with clearly autism. So cool. So cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon and I'll see you in the next one. <clears throat> next vlog I'll be officially done school classes going into finals so there may not be a video next week we'll see it's just gonna be a lot of studying so you're either gonna see me mid finals or you're gonna see me post finals and we'll be cheersing a very large glass of wine all right that is it for today I hope you are well sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon Bye.